Gary, uh, Georgia Tech transfer course this week. We we pick up those guys. Any any additional motivation? Uh, you know, you try to uh, you try to keep that on the back burner and just play like it's a regular game. But you know, obviously, it's some connections and old guys and and, and coaches. Uh, so it'll be a good one. It was super fun to get to play against the old guys and see them after the game last year. So yeah, it'll be it'll be a good one. Was that your first touchdown? In college, yeah, that was my first touchdown in college. What's the feeling for a defensive lineman that to get a get his hands on the ball and score? It was great. Yeah, um, we call it a thick six, man. So it was <laughs> it was, a, it was a great feeling. I haven't walked across that that solid white line in a long time, so but very blessed. Uh, I asked Zamari Walton the last time we had him in here. I mean, you faced against. Zamari and Kilo Stone, if I'm not mistaken, just when they were going through the whole transfer portal process, just what was your communication like with him? What was the general message of what they were getting if should they come here? Yeah, those two and uh, and Jam as well. It was just, uh, just told him about my experience and um, you know how I loved you know the transition was smooth and and uh, how the guys took me in, how the scheme you know is really fitting on both sides of the ball for you know anybody who wants to come and compete right away. Um, and just try to stress all the good things, you know what I mean, and, and keep it real with them as real as as real as I could, you know. And you know they ended up making a little pipeline, so I'm very excited about that. And uh, they've been they've been playing really well. Jam's made some crazy plays on special teams. Kilo's been doing his things. He already racked up a sack, and then Zamari obviously starts for us, you know, out there, and and he's been really solid this year too. So really thankful to have those guys. After looking back on the film, what do you think went well for you and the defensive line, and, and what are some things that didn't that could have gone better? Okay, uh, I think I think we rushed uh, well as a collective. I think we uh, kept our rush lanes tight. I, I, I don't feel like um, their backup had a lot of space to go. I think we uh, we went in and we didn't we didn't let Pratt not playing affect how we were going to rush the passer and how we were going to play as a defense. And uh, you know we didn't let that. You know, weighing down on on the effort or anything like that. So, uh, yeah, I I just think as a, as a collective we play pretty good. We we could obviously always play faster, always play more physical. Um, you know, it gets ugly down there in the trenches sometimes, and uh, you know you want to be as, as as strong at the point of attack as you as you can be. So, yeah, that's definitely a focus moving forward. What did you feel like was the difference between the first half and the second half? I mean, dominated the second half, kind of hidden in the first half. Uh, Lane put it in a, a great way in the in the team meeting this morning, talking about how we uh, warmed up inside last week, and uh, we were using that to to our advantage to kind of save some energy. And then you get out there, and it's a it's a big environment. First time we're playing or warming up in front of a, a big crowd like that, the music's jumping, guys are screaming and and, and running around and and getting jacked. So uh, maybe just played a part in us coming out a little bit slow, you know expelling some energy early on that, that, that we could have kept in to start quicker and definitely something we're holding uh, going into next week. How valuable is a game like Saturday where you all go down, face some adversity, and then overcome it? As we know, we're entering in closer to SEC play where you're going to be playing tough opponents week in, week out. All right. It's, I think that's super valuable uh, to experience early in the season. That's something we didn't experience uh, last year. Uh, and then we got, kind of got hit in the mouth there in the back half uh, and, and hadn't really faced adversity uh, from a good team yet. And um, so I think, I think that'll speak volumes into our improvement uh, moving forward. And um, I, I think it'll be a quick turnaround uh, into next week. Jared, I think Tulane had over 80 snaps. Um, seemed like you guys got better, even though it was hot mm -hmm. um, as the game went on. Could, can you feel – the increased depth on this defense, were you able to feel that on Saturday? Yeah, absolutely. I think that just speaks to our depth, and um, you know we're able to just roll guys. And and uh, you know I always say this whenever something like like this comes up that you know their O line doesn't sub at all, right? Uh, regardless of where they're out on the field, what per personnel they got in, right? They're keeping the same O line uh, the whole game, so we have to use that uh, to our advantage when we can just roll guys and just go full speed the entire game. The trust is unbelievable. Um, the bond is, is just, it's, it's like no other bond that I've had uh, in a room. And uh, everybody wants to see everybody eat. So I'm super grateful, you know, to have those guys around me. Georgia Tech scored 48 points last week. What are you guys looking to do to kind of prevent them from doing that? Um, just, you know, keep keep rolling how we're rolling, man. Keep, keep the preparation uh, where it needs to be. Super detailed in practice, super physical uh, uh, with the scout team, 
uh, we need to scout guys to come out and give a great look. Um, this would be a this would be a a team coming off a like you said a, a high scoring game and and with a little bit of confidence. I know they they uh, fell early uh, in a game that they should have won. So you know I, I feel that you know they're going to come in with a little chip on their shoulder and you know the attention has to be you know up there to you know to to combat that uh, from the start to the finish. So yeah. Going back to that touchdown, it seems like afterwards you kind of walked on the sideline and stared down some Tulane fans. What mm-hmm. was going through your head in that moment? Man, I, all I remembered was uh, us coming out and them and them chanting "F Ole Miss" uh, at the very start of the game, man. And I just I wanted to stick it to them in that moment. Uh, it, was, it was a great moment. I was getting countless birds and and some explicit language, but you know I I, I soaked it in and I enjoyed it in that moment. I'm willing to take that for the guys, you know. You talked about that thick six uh, being your first collegiate touchdown. Was there one of those in high school or any other point during your college career or uh, your football career? I never, I never returned anything um, defensively in high school, but I scored a couple uh, two point conversions. Had a couple catches for some two point conversions, and then um, the last time I scored a touchdown for real, I was uh, in fifth grade. I played tight end. It's a little, Double covered slot fade, you know what I mean? The guys know to go to OT, the, you know, the guys at the crib know if you ask them. So that, that was that was my last uh that was my last time really scoring six. I know you don't really care about last year, but you guys as a defense were able to shut Georgia Tech out. from what you've seen so far, is that offense how, how different is it looking? Oh uh, well, you know, they when you retain a guy on staff or pr- promote a guy on staff, you know, there is gonna be some overlap, but Coach Key has his own philosophies and things that he wants to bring and, and enforce and his identity um, with that offense as a whole. So, you know what I mean? Like, it, yes, you know, we're, we're obviously cutting up film from last year uh, and, and personnel things and, and guys that they are returning as starters, but, you know, they've already played two games. So, you know, that's what we're looking at most and, and what they're running right now. And, um, yeah, man, just keeping preparation paramount and, uh, you know what I mean, sticking to our guns. Lane was talking about how every team now is so different from year to year. Is it difficult at all to flush the 42 nothing victory and know that this year is going to be completely different and it starts out 0-0? Uh, no, I don't think so at all, um, especially when you're playing at a program that also uses the transfer portal, transfer portal as heavily as we do, right? We're a totally different team as well. So uh, a lot of the guys that are here and making an impact weren't even here last year to be a part of that win. Um, so it's a totally fresh mindset going into this game. Uh, I mean, we're gelled and, and, and combined as a defense and, and ready to go out there and uh, attack this week just like we would attack any other week with any other opponent. Jared, I don't mean to keep harping on the depth thing. I'm, I'm just curious. Did your legs feel fresher in the fourth quarter Saturday? Could you feel it? Yeah, absolutely. Um, I went, we went at halftime, we got, you know, we did our, our deal with the hydration and, and Miranda coming around and, and getting us right. But even going into halftime, I felt uh, fresher than I, you know, had felt going into halftime in a game where we were, you know what I mean? Not like a Mercer where, uh, you know, the score was what it was um, in a game where we felt like it was going to maybe go down to all four quarters. I, I definitely felt super fresh and, and also, you know, super confident, you know, mentally fresh as well. There wasn't a lot of mental clutter. You know, we knew the situation going in uh, to halftime, and we came out and made the adjustments we needed to make. And, uh, yeah, absolutely, you know, we got the job done. Jared, you talked about your room collectively, but as you look in the mirror personally, what are some things that you'd like to see, you know, in yourself become better as we move on? Yeah, I would just, you know, I would love to just continue to grow uh, in every single technique, right? I'm, I'm playing pretty much every technique you can play uh, across the defensive line. So just trying to grow in my versatility and, and uh, you know, it's an old saying, being a, a jack of all trades, but, you know, I'd like to also be a master of all. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat>